Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Tonight, I'm giving you a different look here for game five of the 2005 ALCS, which, as you will recall, was the Chicago White Sox playing the Los Angeles Angels. And as I said, we are in game five. But I'm giving you a different look. I'm up in the dining room, and uh, we are... Uh, using the regular Stratomatic game board and we're going to use color tokens. The red right here is the home team angels and the white is the Chicago White Sox appropriately. And, uh, and we're going to have a yellow marker for the outs. And as you know, we are playing uh, the basic version I got my charts over here. May not be able to see them, but anyway, there they are. And we are going with a game one matchup in this game. This will be Mark Burley for the White Sox going up against Jared Washburn of the Angels. And so we will get on with the game. Scott Pazednik is the first batter. He gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball to first base. That's one away. Aaron Rowand is up. He gets a 3-6, which is a single. So Rowand is aboard, and that's going to be a hit for the White Sox. Frank Thomas is up. Big Frank gets a 4-5. That's on Washburn's card, and it's a fly ball to right, two away. And that brings up Canerco. 6-3 is a fly ball to the left fielder. And the left fielder is, um, let's see, that is Juan Rivera, and he is a two in left field. And that's a one. I think that's going to be an out. And that is. So, the White Sox go one, two, three. As I mentioned, this is game five. So, if you want to see where the series is at right now, you will have to. Uh, go back and figure that out um, by watching the other games. I know it's a novel approach, but it's one that will work in this particular case. So we uh, have zero there, and then we go to the bottom of the first. Sean Figgins is up. He gets a 5-8 on Burley's card. That's a double one to nine. That is going to be actually a single. Sean Figgins is aboard. He's going to try to steal. Very good base stealer, and he does do it. And so now you've got Sean Figgins at um, second base and a hit for the Angels. Garrett Anderson is up. He gets a 2-8. That's a home run 1-13 to or a double. And it is a home run, two-run shot by Garrett Anderson. Gives the Angels... A very big lead and if you if you want to know why I'm saying two runs is a very big lead as I said go back and watch the other games Vlad Guerrero gets a 4-7 and that is a single one to five and that is going to be a line out to shortstop one away Benji Molina comes up he gets a 3-3 which is a ground ball to the shortstop that's two down and Casey Kochman's up, and he gets a 3-8, which is a home run. The Angels hit another home run and get yet another run. Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Here in the first inning. And they're not even done. Adam Kennedy's up, and he gets a 3-9, and that is a ground ball to second base. But a lot of damage was done right there by the Angels. We're going to the top of the second with the score, 3-0 Angels. Jermaine Dye up. He gets a 4-12, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. Washburn throws over to Kochman for the out. And uh, here comes Brzezinski, 6-3. That's the left fielder. He's a 2 and that's a three. That's going to be something. Three, two is a safe at second on error. So, 
And that is the first error committed by the angels. And puts Przinsky on second with uh, only one out. Creedy up. Creedy gets a 212, which is a line out into a double play. So that is going to be that. No runs for the White Sox in the second. We're going to the bottom of the second. Juan Rivera. The man who made that two base error last inning, he's up. He gets a 110, which is a ground out to short, one away. Orlando Cabrera gets a 3-7. That is a double one to seven or a single. And that's going to be a single. So that's another hit for the Angels. Finley is up. He gets a 4-11. That is a fly ball to left. The left fielder for the White Sox is Pizednik, and he's a two. That is a five, so that's an out. And that brings up Sean Figgins, and he gets a three nine, which is a fly ball to right field. And the Angels go uh, down in that inning, but they, um, they did get a man aboard. I wouldn't say that was much of a, a threat, but they are still leading 3 nothing right now. And Juan Uribe comes up. He gets a 1-9. That is a home run 1-18. to That is a gone goodbye Uribe hitting a home run. And now the score is 3-1. to Angels still leading. Tadahito Iguchi gets a 1-5. That's a strikeout. One away. Bidzednik gets a 4-4. That is a fly ball to center field. Two away. And that brings up Aaron Rowan. And he gets a 3-8 home run. 1-6. But it's going to be a double. Another hit for the White Sox. But they have to try to bring Rowan in. I think it's going to be key right here. What happens with Frank Thomas up and he gets a 2-9 and that is a strikeout. So Big Frank let him down. We go to the bottom of the third and the score is 3-1 Angels in the bottom of the third with Garrett Anderson up. He gets a 6-4. That is a fly ball to left. One away. In 2005, just to remind you, Mark Burley was a 6 and 8 with a 312 earned run average, and Washburn was 8 and 8 with a 3.20 earned run average. Vlad Guerrero is up. He gets a 3-6. That's a single one to 18. And that is going to be a hit. Another hit. Yet another hit for the Angels. And up steps. Benji Molina, 111 is a line out to third, two away, and Casey Kochman's up, and he gets a 1-9, which is a strikeout. So the Angels maintain their lead. They don't get any more runs in the third. We go to the top of the fourth. The White Sox looking to get something going, trying to get something going here. Canerco is up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout, one away. Jermaine Dye gets a 4-6. That's a walk. So they got a man aboard, and there he is. And Przinsky is up. He gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop double play, and they're out of the inning. So uh, we go to the bottom of the fourth, 3-1. Still a very good game. Uh, the White Sox high-powered offense, you would think, might be able to rise up here. But right now, Adam Kennedy is at the plate. He gets a 6-8. That is a single. And the uh, Angels are getting all kinds of hits. I mean, they are getting all kinds of runs, too. But um, Juan Rivera is up. He gets a 1-12, which is a fly ball right field. B, one out. Orlando Cabrera gets a 2-12, which is a line out to third base into as many outs as possible, which is a double play. And no runs come in there. And we're moving right along. We're in the top of the fifth. The Creedy Master comes up. He's got a 4-7. That is a strikeout. One away. 
Juan Uribe gets a 6-5. That's a ground ball to second base, two away. And that is going to bring up Tadahito Iguchi, who gets a 6-6, which is a double one to six. And that's going to be a single. Instead... And it's another hit for the White Sox. I think I'm doing a pretty good job this game, keeping up with everything. Pizednik comes up. He gets a 3-5. That's a single one to eight. That is a single, in fact. And so runners will be at first and second with two down. And coming up is... Uh, Aaron Rowland, and he gets a 3-4, and that's a pop-out to third base. That was his column. My God, that was his column. And he didn't do it. Couldn't come through for him. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. Steve Finley is up at the plate. He gets a 1-4. That's a fly to right. One out. Sean Figgins gets a 5-6, which is a... Fly ball to right field, two away. Burley is not pitching bad here. Anderson comes up, he gets a 2-8. Oh, now he is. Home run one to 13, and it is gone. And Burley is getting uncharacteristically hit up here. As the Angels restore their three-run lead that they had after the first inning with Vlad Guerrero up, and he gets a 6-10. And that is going to be a fly ball to center. Rowand is a 1. That is an 18. And uh, that is going to be a safe at second on error. So there's going to be an error by Rowand. And that brings up Molina. And he gets a ground ball to second. So they don't score any more after that home run that Garrett Anderson had, but there's a lot of damage being done here. We go to the top of the sixth with the White Sox down four to one, and this is an odd numbered game, so you'd know this is one way or the other. This is a deciding game. Frankie Thomas is up 112. That's a gone home run. So the White Sox uh, cut the deficit again. And now it is four to two. Canerco is up. He gets a five nine. That's a home run. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Wrong guy. That is a ground ball shortstop. And the shortstop, that's the first time we've had to call him. He that's Orlando Cabrera. He is a two. And that's a three and a two. Probably is an out. And it is. So that's one down. One down, right? Yep. Yeah. One down and Jermaine Die up and he gets a 4-9 and that's a home run 1-10. to ten. That is a home run and the White Sox are, they're roaring back here, fans. It's 4-3. to three. And Przinski is up and he gets a 4-3. That's a ground ball first base. He's out. And Joe Creedy comes up and gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. And the White Sox have fought back brilliantly here. And we're going to the bottom of the sixth in a 4-3 game. Kochman up at the plate. 6-7 is a fly ball to center. One away. Kennedy is up. He gets a 1-8. That's a walk. So Kennedy is aboard with a walk. Rivera is up. He gets a 2-11, which is a single. So now they have two on. And that's another hit for them. Orlando Cabrera comes up, gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to right field, two away. And with two on and two down, it's Steve Finley. And he gets a 6-5, which is a ground ball, second base. And that will be the final out of the inning for the Angels in the sixth. And we're going to the top of the seventh. Juan Uribe is up. He gets a 1-5. That's a triple one or a double. And that is going to be a double. Juan Uribe. 
I think he had another big hit uh, earlier in the game, didn't he? Hmm. Tadahito Aguchi is up. He gets a 5-9. That's a ground ball shortstop. He is a 2. That is a 10. That might be something. It is a two-base error by Cabrera, and it's a tie game. That is that was a that could be a backbreaker right there. I mean, right now it's just a tie game, but uh, there's nobody out, and Pizednik up back at the top of the order, and that's a three-eight, which is a strikeout, one away. Rowan gets a one-five. That's a strikeout, two away, and that brings up Brick. Big Frank, who has a home run this game, and he gets a 4-9, which is a home run 1-10. to Did he hit another one? He did! Frank Thomas hits a two-run home run coming off the injury with his first game back. And that is another hit. And two runs, and now the White Sox pull ahead by the score of 5-4. And Canerco is up, and he gets a 5-8, which is a pop-out to second base. And uh, Sean Figgins will lead off in the bottom of the seventh for the Angels. That is a 3-11, which is a pop-out to short, one away. Garrett Anderson is up. That's a 5-9. That's a home run, 1-8. And that is instead going to be a double. Garrett Anderson, who does... Have a home run this game, I believe. Um, gets another hit for the Angels. Man at second, one out. Vlad Guerrero. Vladdy is up 6-9. That is a shortstop. The shortstop is a 2. Juan Uribe. That is a 20 and a 2. That is an out. Two away. And that brings up Benji Molina. And he gets a 1-4, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So the Angels came very close right there to scoring, but they didn't. We go to the top of the eighth, and there will be a new pitcher for the Angels with them behind 5-4. Washburn kept them in the game. It was admirable, the job that he did. But they are going to bring in, and they really don't have a very good bullpen. They did not have a good bullpen this particular year. They're going to bring in Esteban Yan. In 2005, Esteban Yan was 1-1 one one with a 459 earned run average and gave up only 66 hits and 67 innings pitched. And he will be facing Jermaine Dye in the top of the eighth. And that's a 4-7, which is a walk. So they got a man aboard against Yan. Przinski up. He gets a 5-7. That's a double 1-11. to 11. That's going to be a single double asterisk, and runners are at the corners. And now the Angels are going to play the infield in. I'm not a big fan of playing the infield in. Um, I just think it, it leads to more damage than it's worth. But they're going to do that, and Joe Creedy is up. He gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball center field B, and scores the run anyway. And so that does knock in another run. And the White Sox lead 6-4. Juan Uribe is up. He gets a single. So the hit parade continues for the White Sox. Tadahito Aguchi is up 6-5. That is a ground ball second base C. Moves runners over to second and third. But... There are two outs now, and Pizednik up, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, and that's a walk to load the bases for Rowand. And he gets a 6-8, and that's a double. That's a double that knocks in two runs, and what did I say about this bullpen? Not very good. And the White Sox now lead 8-4 to four with Big Frank Thomas up. He gets a 2-11, which is a fly ball, and he's out. That is the third out of the inning. But we're going to the bottom of the eighth, and they the White Sox will take Burley out as well. And they will bring in Cliff Pollitt. 
Cliff Pollard is coming in for the White Sox to face Casey Kochman in the bottom of the eighth. Cliff Pollitt in 2005 was 2-1 two and one with a two-earned run average. And that is a 4-6, which is a pop-out to second, one away. Adam Kennedy gets a 6-5, which is a home run, 1-15. to 15. And that is actually going to be a double. So another hit for the Angels. The hit parade is just crazy here. The White Sox have 11. The Angels have 8. And Rivera's up. He gets a 2-9, which is a single. They have a bunch of runs they need to score, though, so they're going to just hold the runner and go station to station for the moment. Orlando Cabrera gets a 3-4, which is a line out to shortstop, two away. And that brings up Steve Finley, and he gets a 6-12, which is a pop out to third. And the Angels are going to make a pitching change. With Canerco coming to the plate. And they're going to go with Kelvin Kelvim Escobar. And Kelvim Escobar was nine and or was three and two in 2005 with a 302 earned run average. He'll be facing Canerco in the top of the ninth. And that's a six-seven ground ball to the shortstop. He is a two. That is probably a base hit. It is. It's a single. So yet another hit in this game. 12 hits for the White Sox. Nine for the Angels right now. Die comes up. He gets a 4-6. That's a strikeout. One away. Przinsky gets a 6-7. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 2. That is a 10. That is another error. It looks like it is a two-base error for Cabrera. And another error for the Angels, uncharacteristic of this Angels team. Creedy up, he gets a 4-5, that is a strikeout, two away. And Uribe at the plate gets a 2-7, which is a fly ball left field. The White Sox came close to scoring yet another run there, but they didn't. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. The Angels need four runs. Doesn't seem likely, and they are also going to take Pollitt out, and they are going to bring in, um, well, you know who they're going to bring in. They're going to bring in Bobby Jenks. So Bobby Jenks is coming in to nail this, <coughs> this, uh, this bad boy down with Sean Figgins, the leadoff hitter for the Angels, leading off at the ninth. And he gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout. One away. Jenks was 1-1 one one with a 275 earned run average in 2005. But most notably, in 39 innings, he struck out 50 guys. Garrett Anderson gets a 3-5, which is a single 1-14. to 14, And that is going to be a single. This is also Jenks' first appearance in this series, or at least in my version of the series. Vlad Guerrero comes up, gets a 5-9. That's a strikeout. Two away. They're one out away. Benji Molina gets a 1-4, and that's a ground ball to the pitcher. Jenks throws it over to Canerco, and that is the game. And that's how it ends. The White Sox beat the Angels 8-4 on 12 hits with only one error. The Angels only had four runs on 10 hits, and three of their four runs came in the first inning. And they also did have three errors, uncharacteristically sloppy play by the Angels. And that's your final score, 8-4 to four White Sox.